everybody. Thank you so much for pressing play on my video today. My name is Charlene from stampwithshaw.com and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in the US. Welcome to another Casing the Catalog Monday. Now my inspiration I found on page 16 of the Occasions Catalog and I'm super excited that you could join us today. Now any of the supplies that I used in today's video, you can find it down in the description below. And if you click on that, that's gonna head you on over to my online store. I do post projects every weekday to inspire you over on my website, www.stampwithshah.com. So I hope you'll head on over there and go and have a look. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can do so by hitting that red subscribe button down below, or you can hit that little girl that sits in the corner of your screen. Either way, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that little bell that pops up. That's going to notify you every time I upload a video. We're going to flip the camera and we're going to get started. My inspiration for today's card comes from page 16. It's this guy right here. And this is the card we're going to create today. Super cute. So I'm going to set this off to the side and we're going to get started. Now my card stock today is in the Subtles and this is the Soft Sea Foam. And this piece is cut at four and a quarter by 11 and it's scored and folded at five and a half. I have a piece of Whisper White and that's for the inside of the card. And that piece is cut at four by five and a quarter. I have a stitched circle. I also have a piece of vellum. And this piece is cut at two and a half by six. And then I have a piece of whisper white. And that's also cut at two and a half by six. My stamp set that I'm using today is the Butterfly Gala, which comes with the coordinating punch, and if you bundle these two together, you save 10%. For my ink today, we will be using Balmy Blue, we will be using Daffodil Delight, we will be using Highland Heather, we will also be doing tone-on-tone -tone stamping with the Soft Sea Foam, as well as some memento ink. So let's get started. I just have my paper piercer and I'm going to use that to press on so that we can stamp our butterflies. And I need three butterflies. I am going to take my three color choices, which is Daffodil Delight, Highland Heather, and Balmy Blue. I have my sponge daubers, and I am just going to sponge my butterflies. We can now punch out our butterflies. I can now come with the soft sea foam. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stamp tone on tone. Now I have my score line there and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a scrap piece of paper and layer it down so that when I come and stamp my butterflies okay I have my stitched circle. We're going to come in with just a little note. And all you're going to do, you're going to punch out three more
And all you're going to do now is start assembling your card. So all I did was I took dimensionals I have some of this flax ribbon and I'm just going to grab a small little piece just like so so I can fold that in half. I'm going to grab a piece of this share what you love ribbon combo and then I've got some silver sequins. What's fun about this card, I could have used I could have used some rhinestones to go along with this, you know, the sequins instead of using this these sequins. So again, you can mix and match your card however you want. And all I'm doing with this is I am wrapping it around in a little circle until I have the desired amount. Just like so. I'm going to come in with my stapler. Give that a little staple. I'm just going to come with a glue dot just to hold that sequence in place. I'm just going to grab myself a little glue dot here and I'm just going to stick it under this sequence just like so. Now I can come with my circle I have a little goober there so I'm just going to cover that up I slammed my finger in the door you guys oh it was so sore I wanted to cry I'm actually going to cover that up with a rhinestone I just thought about that now and then all I did was I added these little guys I'm just going to come in with a glue dot attach my little butterflies and then these guys here I used dimensionals and I popped all my butterflies up with dimensionals you're going to remove the backing and then add the butterflies to your card Then we are going to add our little vellum butterflies. Just like so. Now you can also come with the little itty bitty flowers and stick a flower in the center to cover up the glue dot which I thought was pretty cute as well again that's optional and all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with some rhinestones 
and I'm going to cover up that glue dot add a rhinestone there to cover up my little boo-boo super cute card you guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed today's video please give me a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel that way you guys don't miss my next video if you guys are in the u.s and you're interested in any of these i will have them down in the description thank you so much for stopping by today and i hope you all have a wonderful day and a great week ahead take care